NLCB, TTT, Coleman Butt, Ministry of Finance, PNM. Something had to be wrong with all you. On a live broadcast of a gambling game, a game of chance, where it is very important that, that punters have faith that whatever odds they believe they have, that they have those odds. Whether it's random, whether we can statistically tell them you're wasting your money or not. People who play these games of chance have the belief that they are free and fair and not rigged. And they are live. And any, or any probability of a combination there of numbers and so on, that's what they're risking. And people make a decision to sign a contract or enter into a contract with the organization, which is the NLCB that is putting forward these games, that I will risk my money for X amount of probability to multiply it by X and Y, okay? Just on a live broadcast, and right now we live, eh? Archie, do me a favor. Choose a number from 1 to 32, right, Archie? Let me take out a pen somewhere here. Archie, you just choose a number from 1 to 32 and you put it up on the screen. I have no pen here. If you have a pen, throw it for me. Right? We're going to do an experiment. All right. Thank you, Archie. Archie, I'm going to write down a number here. You throw up a number. Graphics. Do a graphics. You pop your number. Let me see your number, Archie. Let me see something. What is Jamet? That I Rowley? But what is the number? 16. 16. Look what I put. All I could see it. I write 17. Look, we come closer. That just become me and Archie in sync. But close is no cigar. It can happen that and we put up the exact thing. That they put up a graphic. Okay. Put up the image now to hear TTT. Archie, let me read what TTT say, and this is an unsigned thing, so this and nothing is the same thing. Plus, the tone of this is very PNM because whenever the PNM put a press release, they always bad talk people who should who are criticizing something that is wrong. So they start off, there's been a lot of speculation, negative commentary, and unfounded allegations circulating, particularly on social media. So you know. Is a PNM who like that because rather than stating the facts, rather than trying or attempting to clarify, rather than explaining away how it is possible for numbers to come up on a screen before the ball draw, they start to attack citizens who find it wrong. And the citizens in this case are absolutely correct for finding it wrong, right? So clearly, is a PNM like that. Then they say investigations into the incident, first and foremost. You investigating yourself and nothing is the same thing. So we don't want to know that the thief investigate the thief. Alright, so that is a waste of time there. TTT Limited also wishes to reaffirm its acceptance of full responsibility for what was human error. First and foremost, TTT, you cannot accept responsibility for that which you are not responsible for. The NLCB is the one who is responsible for the game, the honesty, the belief, the trust, the everything about the game is the responsibility of the NLCB. You are just to disseminate or to communicate or to put out in the airwaves what is the game. You are not to take any responsibility for the NLCB, nor the Ministry of Finance, nor the PNM. So that is nonsense again. The NLCB's play where go all of them thing, right? Has gone on for 20. That is all very well and good. It's gone on for 28 years. How has it gone on? Has this happened before? Is this bubble? Has it been going on properly? How is it possible? Now, they go on to say that this was a graphics error. What does that mean, TTT? Because graphics, for example, when I call Archie and I tell Archie, play a video. Or put up this image. This is graphics of Archie will put up graphics and put up an picture and do things. Do you know how much preparation that takes? That takes days of preparation going through papers and so on. I get all this information. Then Archie come to me. 
I then put up this sheet here, which is a whole list. Come back to me, take off that image there, Archie. Right? And I have up this thing here. If all you could see it, all of this is things for Archie. When I call for it, Archie go play it because Archie know in advance because I done organize all this here over the last three days to come in a specific order. Give Archie the Archie download. He had the graphics ready, any image ready, and we ready to roll. So NLCB TTT, please explain to me how somebody like Archie could have a graphic of a number that ain't called yet. Put back up the image because TTT is trying to say it's human error. It's a graphics man. So it's a man like Archie in the back there. Put up the number. How the man know which number to put up? Which graphic? How could the error be made? It is not possible unless the man is a time traveler and he went ahead of time, find out which balls would have come out, and then create the graphic and press play, press disseminate, and it come up on the screen. So your explanation means and shows that there is culpability that somebody knew what number was coming and the graphic was created and put up on the screen before the live ball was pulled out of the thing. All you feel, all you so bright, but when you write and you don't sign thing, just like Paria with the fuel, Newman George, remember? When he write all the money was put into an RBC account, but the invoice that he had for, for Trafigura and ES Euro shipping had for Citizens Bank on it. So the nonsense that you all are putting there means they need to be police, boy blue, DCP Jacobs, ACIB, anti-corruption unit. Let me tell you something. All you have a serious job to do there because that questions now arise on that singular job draw or whatever it was how did that happen you all have to go and investigate and interview and take statement from the graphics man how he actually play the, play the video too let me see and this graphics man well boy you have money to make more than your senior gonzalez and to you my citizens who still playing that game after you see this live well i now know how some of you could vote pnm because all you're seeing pnm thiefing all you're seeing pnm gutting corrupt um, procurement legislation you're seeing your money disappearing your whole country in a mess and some of you still going and vote for pnm you're seeing fraud you're seeing nonsense you're seeing that it is rigged because there is no way any human error could be made on something that does not exist at the time. You all understand what I said there? Actually, run the, the drawing the, of the actual yeah. mark wasn't the issue. 22 played, rat, no problem there. It's when they moved on to the Mega Ball draw is where the controversy happened. Right here to be exact. You see, only one ball has so far been drawn, yet the graphic on the screen shows the full results of the entire draw. Note how quickly it was removed from the screen before they moved on to the other machines, which gave them the same results that was broadcast earlier. And remember, this is supposed to be a live draw. And Playway dealers aren't at all happy with that. The president of the association said it's caused serious suspicion and doubt over the integrity of the draw, and they're demanding it be addressed. They wrote to the NLCB, however, when CNC3 News reached out to Chairman Eustace Nancis, he said, that's a matter for TTT, the media house that broadcasts the draws. Nancis would, however, say that in spite of the suspicions from people following what transpired on Tuesday, the integrity of Playway is intact, and he believes what happened is a human error. Nancy said he requested a report from TTT and an internal one from the NLCB. Now, TTT did issue a brief statement this afternoon saying that it was a machine error that affected the 4 p.m. draw, and they're apologizing to the NLCB and the gaming public. But, but it still does not answer how what was put on the screen for a live draw turned out to be exactly what transpired as the draw continued. 
Now put back up the recent statement of TTT for me, please, because on that one, they said it was a machine error. Now they say it's human error. It's a graphics er error, right? They apologize for those who have been inconvenienced, not inconvenienced, those who have been robbed, those whose money was stolen, those who did not have the requisite probability when they paid their money and trusted NLCB with their money, they took a risk, leave it up, they go up, yes, by last Tuesday's graphic error, what it was a, gr a grave error it showed the bubble and the rigging you all have to come better than that explain to me ttt explain this how a graphics man or woman knew what graphics to create before the flipping ball draw you see you all are sick and disgusting. And the, since you all cannot answer that, everybody at TTT involved with that had to resign. The NLCB board had to resign. The police have to get in there and do an investigation not only into this draw, but every single draw. Because this is people money and all you have to be mad. And to you, my citizens, you see that day. And I seen, well, I didn't, I must say, at least. It look like about 60% of the population say me ain't playing that. But about 40% of y'all still going and take your hard-earned money that the PNM done sucking away with taking away your power purchasing party of your money. Your money worth less and less. And all you're going and take the little bit of value left in your money to hand it to our next PNM bubble machine when you see it with your own two eyes.